seven, six, oh, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, well, that was fun. Ten, that was good. No, I mean, okay. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, <laughs> hi guys, welcome to the first official ATC Uncovered live event. Um, as you've you know seen from these tweets, Remy, I'm gonna ask you to just pipe down. Okay. Called out. This is my moment. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and you see it through the tweets and the photos and videos. I'm kidding, Remy. Uh, you know we're, we we got together a little gang of the uh, original Spring Awakening cast members here. Um, to commemorate our seven year anniversary oh on the Broadway. <laughs> December 10th, 2006. What anniversary? We'll live in is that, is that um, it's the. Uh, is that like tinfoil? <laughs> what is that one? We should um, look it up. Flowers? I don't know. What? I don't know. Lace? Well, it's an donut. anniversary it's of sorts, donut. so we'll bring it back. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves here? Starting with, uh, what's uh, Lauren? Lauren <laughs> uh, I'm Lauren. So like, uh, I'm Remy. Introduce, so Remy, you want to sure. go too? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go first. Okay, go you go. First. Ready? Okay. Hi, my name is Lauren Pritchard, <laughs> and I played need. Ilsa. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I'm Remy Zakin and I played Taya. Doing good so far. <laughs> I'm Phoebe Stroll and I played Anna. I'm Brian Charles Johnson, played the Atto, the palindrome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm John Gallagher Jr. I played Moritz. I'm Gideon Glick, I played Ernst. Yeah. I'm Jonathan Groff, I played Melchior. And with us moderating are our two students from the NYU and conservatory programs here at Atlantic Hello. Acting Hi. School. This is Luca Brockett. He's the uh, he's a first year student at the conservatory program. And this is McLean Peterson, who is a third year at the NYU Pish program. Everyone give it up. So they're going to be the ones asking us the questions that all you guys sent in to us. Um, so I guess I'm going to drop my phone currently and uh, not worry about that until after I send it off to them. So we're going to ask these questions now and uh, let's start this bad boy. All right. Well, the first one's actually for you, Brian. Oh my God. Oh, this is from Chloe. Prepared. She would like to know how you went from being an NYU student to going into an off-Broadway production. Ah, well, a, a couple of us actually did it. Phoebe, you know, she graduated. graduated, but I'm not talking about you right now. I'm just um, you did, though, you did. But Skyler, who's not with us, uh, also came out of that. <laughs> 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 well, he's alive. He's alive. <laughs> Hi, Skyler. Hi, yeah, Skyler. Oh, Skyler I don't mean to start rumors. Skyler with us in New York City, um, but it's yeah. alive. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to school here at Atlantic and uh, just kind of uh, got the audition because they remembered I, I could, you know, sing some ditties and. Uh, they called me in for a, 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 pre, a pre audition uh, and then got an audition, kind of had like a month of callbacks and crazy whirlwind and got the, got the part of Otto um, by being in the right place at the right time and then putting up the, the chops, I guess is what, <laughs> how I would answer that question. <laughs> Coming out the gates hot. I like it. I like it. Really good. Stuff. Um, I don't know. I, anyone else want to share how they like you know kind of came into it? I feel like everyone's got kind of a crazy little. Story. Was the question how it happened? Or? Yeah. It, you know, we could turn it around. This is this is you know yeah, very so open. This is a forum. We're doing yeah. it live. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, I auditioned yeah. for when it went to Lincoln Center. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't get it, oh. and then <gasps> well, no, I didn't. And then so they said that they didn't want to see any. They didn't want to see anybody they had already seen for the off-Broadway production. So I didn't go in for it originally. And then they called my agent and said, "Oh, we do want to see Remy." And then I went in, and I brought the shop. Oh, the shop! <laughs> she booked it's it. It's important to bring the shop. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, yeah. Cool. My uh, my favorite story about just the overall experience was. I came into New York for the final audition, and we were running, I came with my best friend, and we were running so late because something had happened to the trains, and, um, and we didn't know where the hell we were because I didn't know New York City at all, 
and we <coughs> went running down the street and we ran past John Groff. <laughs> And he was really? like, like when we turned up for the like first rehearsal for Off Broadway, like you know, however many months later, a couple months later, he was like, actually, I remember you because you ran past me with your blonde friend on the way to the final call. Back. Yeah, I feel like you were maybe in like flats or sandals, yep. and yep. It was so it was like December. I was in flats. <laughs> yeah. I was in flat belly shoes. Yes. I was in yellow. And flat you were having a huge shoes. coat on, and you were like running. <laughs> Like, oh my god, who's that crazy girl? <laughs> that was me. I, I had to like run literally straight into the audition and sing right away and I was like <gasps> and they were like, Do you want some water? I was like, no, I'm fine, I'm fine. How did it go? Did you get it? <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I think it was terrible. I didn't get it. Good I didn't get it. Oh. Good, good vibes about it. Somebody else got it. Oh. Okay, moving and on. They <laughs> Duh. Um, okay, cool, that was cool. <laughs> Wow, um, so this is for you, John. Um, after you left Spring Awakening, you did Farragut North, and yeah. Jeff would like to know, what was that experience like? Uh, thank you for asking, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great experience. I do count that uh, as one of my favorite things that I have ever done. Not just on stage, but ever. We're right here. Because um, it was um, uh, nothing. I mean, it's nothing in comparison to uh, other plays I've done. Uh, but I'm not really a musical kind of guy. No, um, no uh, <laughs> Fairy North was great because it was one of the first times I felt like somebody gave me an opportunity to play somebody that kind of well, ha kind of had their their act together a little bit more. I felt like I had spent several years playing like disenchanted, uh, disillusioned, suicidal <laughs> youths. And, uh, and so um, my friend Bo, who wrote that play, thought that I was the guy for the job then. And it was great. <laughs> Working with Chris Noth, Isaiah Whitlock, yeah. Olivia Thirlby, Dan Bittner, Doug Hughes, incredible director. It was, it was a real treat. It was great. And I remember the day that Jonathan came to see it. And I was oh. so excited. You were so honest. good. You and I remember amazing. when Brian came to see it during previews. I was just going to say, I guess my presence was <laughs> Your visitation was not as remembered. <laughs> so it was great. Was um, it a big difference between when you did, you know, doing the musical and the play in the same space? Yeah, it, yeah. I, I've done three shows in the in there now in the, the um, oh, off-Broadway. Uh, right. Yes, that was also at the Atlantic Theater Company. Oh, Atlantic. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go. Way to go. Yeah. It, it, was, it was really weird because... We had we had really made that space feel like home when we did Spring Awakening. We you know we had all of us there in that small theater, and so and we did something so special. And then coming back to do another play there was very weird because you go into it and you kind of expect everything to be the same, and you realize that it's changed. And that's the cool thing about doing a, a show diff, different shows at the same theaters that you really realize that what's great about theaters is they are they are they are, they are everybody's home during the time that you're there. Yeah. Every time that you're doing a show, you really kind of take it over and make it feel like home. So it's it's uh it's great. It was great. There we go. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> right. had a great time. Got to the bottom Yay. of that. Uh -oh. Encore. <laughs> <laughs> so the next question is to any and all of you. Uh, Beth Ann just recently discovered Spring Awakening through hearing the songs on Pandora Pandora Broadway, um, and then found YouTube videos from the original show. She asks, if the show were to be done now, staged or movie, what actor slash performer would you choose to embody your character? I suppose this is if you could not do it yourself. Wait, didn't we have celebrities that we had picked for yeah, all of us? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, this is a hypothetical. It was a joke, well. Remy. Yeah, Remy. Yeah. 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 We'd obviously do it. Um, I think if it was a movie, I would want it to be 15 year old kids. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. That were unknown. Yeah. We got yeah. 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 Like new people. Totally. See, I would. I, like I, I just too. choose like Tom Cruise, just from like, yeah. <laughs> just embodying like who yeah. I am, kind of as right. a person, yeah. just like you crazy know. couch jumper. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I don't know. That's just that's my first one off the top of my head. <laughs> um, I always wanted Dakota Fanning to play me. I, <laughs> <laughs> so Dakota, if you're listening. Dakota, if you're out Dakota, there, if you're out got there. a fan. <laughs> I would say Jennifer Lawrence just because everybody thinks that I'm her anyway. That works. Like, I'm Laura like, Bird. Every or whoever the day. What's the girl from, uh, Laura Bird. From, Laura Bird. Um, Laura Bird. Is that Laura her? Bird. I don't know. Laura, Laura Bird. Bird. Uh, American Beauty. <laughs> no, Hocus Pocus. Yeah. Laura Bird. Yeah. 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 Laura Bird. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I don't. Be the I think that's person. too complicated. For Laura, 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 Remy. Remy? Yeah. Zac Efron. Zac Efron. Zac Oh my god. Zac Efron. I think, oh jo I think Jonathan hit it, hit the, hit the nail on the head. Cody Simpson. Yeah. I mean, these are all great, too. No, <laughs> no, and a series. Not bring it back to series. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah. But you know there's this actor, uh, uh, Dane DeHaan. Has anybody know that? Yes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel, I don't know if he can sing, but <laughs> He's I've seen him in a few things recently where I felt like he was, he was very Moritz. Or Evan Peters. Yeah. Evan Peters is good. American good. Horror Story? American Horror can he Story. Sing? Yeah, 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 yeah. He He's can quite good. Guys, if it's a movie, it doesn't matter if he can sing. Oh, <laughs> that's true. true. We can make the they, should do it live. they should do it live. Like the sound of music. <laughs> yeah, Spring oh. Awakening Live. Alright, that was good. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Well, um, Check that so one. Jonathan, the scene uh, where when uh, asks Milk could beat her up and also loses control and really beats her. Yeah. Tien wants to know what do you think was going on in his mind during that scene? Tien? Yeah, I know. Tien. Oh, Tien. Okay. I really hope I'm putting that name justice. Tien. I'm really sorry if I'm not. Tien. Tien. That's a good Tien. question. Tien. I think that Tien. the I think it's funny that he asked said the word mind because I feel like Melchior spends a lot of the play in his mind, and that's like the first moment where his body takes over, and he sort of loses control of his mind and goes crazy. So I would say it's less about what's going on in his mind and more about what's going on in his like body. Suddenly like his body takes over, and then he goes into the hayloft and he sings about like, I can't believe that happened, I can't believe I lost control, and then he has sex with her. <laughs> Sunrise, sunset. That is you do. I remember in rehearsals there was a scene. What well, like in the in that scene? That scene was always for me the most difficult scene to do because people would laugh sometimes in the yeah. audience, mm -hmm. yeah. and it's just like an awkward thing when yeah. someone asks yeah. you to beat them with a stick. And people would get so uncomfortable <laughs> in the audience. They would. But the stage combat uh, captain was. I feel like he did quite a. a yes, you know, right. Really job as a director. Oh, I thought that was Tom Cruise. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> it was the whole time. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. The whole time. Knew. Oh my god. We had that every day. Fight. Fight call. call, call. <laughs> Fight call. Woo. Shout out to. But David I remember Brenner. there was one at one point during the off Broadway rehearsal process. We were trying to figure out how to stage that scene, mm -hmm. and I punched her. Do you remember I used to like throw yeah, yes. her around and punch yeah, her yeah. repeatedly? Yeah. And like in her stomach asshole. too. But right? I used to yeah, throw yeah, her yeah. down and like pummel her. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I don't that know. always emotionally got me there better because it was like a repetitive, like yeah. aggressive sure. physical right. thing. Because it wasn't controlled. Then the like, uh, uh, yeah. go to the yeah. kick. Right. It always felt like sort of stiff. Go to the kick. But I think that that, like, I think it, I think to answer the question, it's like the body taking over mm -hmm. the mind. Great. Interesting. That's a good answer, Jonathan. Yeah. Do you guys agree? Should I open yeah. it up? Yeah, no, that's, that's good. good. That's all you. That's all you. That's all you. That's all you. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Farragut North, my favorite thing I've ever done. When I was... <laughs> <laughs> the next question oh, is for Remy from Claire. Okay. How did it feel to be one of the youngest members of the cast in such a serious show? I mean, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. and. Luckily, uh, there were a couple other people who were my age, and we all went to school together. We all had oh, tutoring yeah. together. Yeah, it was Gideon, we were in tutoring. Gideon, Lily, and me off Broadway, and then we added in Gerard and Jen. And then I graduated. Then you did graduate. And you what, then you, you all graduated. School? Yeah, we all. No, nope, I graduated before I left them. <laughs> 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 we were in tutoring, we were in tutoring off Broadway. Yeah, off Broadway. I was in high school still. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 That's and right. then on Broadway, well, he didn't do it was, any work right. the whole Remy? time. Remy? <laughs> I was, I was cool. trying to do my work, and you were just goofing off the whole time, trying to get into school. Trying to get into school. Uh, wow. I already got into the now all I didn't care. It just comes all comes out. out. No. I mean, it was, we were a family, and yeah. I was like the little sister to everyone. Well, it was pretty great. We were all pretty. Uh, we were all Close in age. I mean, yeah. you know, it was what, like five or six years difference? Or, yeah. You know, a little under 10 for sure. So, I mean, we were all still wee babes at the time. Yeah. I think kind of deers in headlights, figuring out Deer as we went headlight. along. I don't think there was ever a moment where, like, that I can remember where, where I was ever 
felt like there was anyone who wasn't my age yeah. while yeah. we were yeah. in the no. Like, even though some people were three years older than me or three years younger than me, like, yeah. it just sort of felt like we were all yeah. the there same There were no age. cast bullies. There were no... <laughs> no. no. Except for Remy. Well, we were, yeah, <laughs> Remy was... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> <laughs> Ravenclaw. Ravenclaw, what up? Oh my god. <laughs> There's some insights. Yeah. Um, so Gideon. Yes. Oh. You and uh, Johnny B, how did you prepare for the kissing scene? Dan oh, really wants um, to know. Dan, well hello Dan. <laughs> um, that's very private. Um, no, just kidding. We didn't, um, we didn't prepare. We just made out. Just went for it. We yeah. went for it. Was it awkward at first or was it okay? And how Things did it evolve? Things are taking a very long time. Um, I think as in the beginning, I don't know. We always had a, a kind of natural chemistry. Never felt really awkward. You probably should have Johnny write about that if it felt awkward for him. Yeah, man, <laughs> it wasn't awkward for me. Um, and then as it evolved, it just more tone. Nice. Is that what happened with nice. Leah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah more tone. Yeah. More tongue as the run went on. More tongue, more show. <laughs> <laughs> more show, more tongue. What? Yeah. More who, show, did, more who did Michael kiss B to demonstrate? That was. For who was that? Well, Michael kissed B to demonstrate. Yeah. <laughs> B is our assist, uh, was our assistant yeah. director. Yeah. Sounds amazing. It was for some. Uh, I don't know. Was understudy? Right? No, it was. Is it an. Oh, no, I think it was for um, the. <laughs> The, the, not the makeup, it was but you, the, it was you two. oh my yeah. god, okay. yeah. I, think it, and I, I was really bad at doing takes, yeah. and Michael would always like, like bring my, cause I would always be like, oh my god, like I would do it like, I just wouldn't like yeah. do it that crisp, and that I think was a kiss, we'd be like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and he did it like, like five times. That's what's great about Michael, is you know what he wants. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he was so clear, yes. and I always appreciated that, yeah. I appreciate a good yes. line reading from Michael Mayer. Yes, it's just, <laughs> Through the bull. It does. The bull. The bull. The bull. I the can bowl. go like this yeah. and still keep my. <laughs> that's, that's Michael teaching us how to use the microphones correctly. Because <laughs> <laughs> we would do the that mic, but then the it would best. go away. We yeah. would be like singing. I remember being like, guys, here's what you sound like. Oh, that's no. It's fine. <laughs> 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 but he stood, yeah, he stood up and was. We were just, I mean, like. Because he was standing in the middle of, like, a stage in front of everyone and just. Because he couldn't get his point across and he was just convulsing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yes. We were just like. Oh my god, it's so true. But, like, I mean, we all knew what to do after that. <laughs> yeah. Very, Remember yeah. when you, you chipped the tooth clear. on your microphone? I did chip it to them you on the opening night. Yeah, on opening night. It was opening night? Oh I did. I remember this shit. I, chipped, I was like, really, I was like, it's opening night. I'm really gonna do this! Come on! Oh. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, it was in the, in, it was in the bitch of living. I'm my really first gonna song. do this. And I was, I went, and I, and I it, it, it was like, it was like, feeling very weird and tingly and I remember like I was feeling it with my tongue like in between scenes because we can't leave we don't leave stage we, we, we sit on stage the whole time sharp. and I was like is it all I remember being like is it all gone <laughs> like, I couldn't I thought that I had knocked my whole tooth out oh my god oh. and I was like oh god and I, it was on my mind like, the whole she, rest did you get a fix? no it's still there Happy opening! <laughs> <laughs> Seven years. Happy anniversary! Hi! Yeah. Happy anniversary! I don't want to fix it. I want to look in the mirror yes. and I want to remember. Yes. I want to remember that Forever. sweet, sweet pain. Your third favorite. As microphones <laughs> touch <laughs> teeth. In my third favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I have no favorites. <laughs> that was Can a I joke. tell another good microphone story? Yes, yes please. please. We were first, please. and we were at the Atlantic and the I, the concept originally, which sounds great and wonder and mystical, wonderful, was that the microphones when he starts singing yes. uh, "Touch Me," yes. when he's you know the lights dim and it's, I don't remember any of this. Yeah, that's <laughs> why we're here, Gideon. That so, camera's not on. It's yeah. just for memories for you. <laughs> for Gideon. Oh, oh my, God. my time capsule. <laughs> Yeah, so the original concept was that the microphones would lower down from the ceiling and they would just sort of gracefully take them and start singing. And every time we'd rehearse it, it was yeah. just known that we would do that and Michael would call out, you know, the microphones are lowering, the microphones are lowering, then you take them and you sing. So we finally get into Tech It and we're all sitting on stage and like we've gotten through, you know, whatever, my junk and we're getting ready to do Touch Me and the lights fade and it's this beautiful, gorgeous moment with the lights. And John, John Groff is just staring out, you know, waiting for the mic and then here we're here, it's like, 
<laughs> but it also was like waving too. Yeah. It was like a weird it spider was a coming wave. from. It's like, and it's like on a very visible wire. And it's just like. <laughs> and then he takes it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Ew. Ew. Anus. That was that my god. Anus. That was so funny. Guy. We all busted. I don't that, remember yeah. this at all. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Well, it was a while back. Oh, you know. it was Were you doing seven Sudoku? Years yeah, seven ago. Years ago. More than seven now. Yeah. Were you two years ago in Sudoku? Right. Remember when we would do Sudoku during time? Yeah. Do no, it. I didn't do that. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. And you were Harry you, Potter. And I remember you being too. on your sidekick, sidekick all the time. I was on my sidekick. And Michael would yell at you. Yes, he was. I think we're gonna oh. take, a, oh. take the <laughs> take another question okay, here. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah. Next one's you guys. Okay, um, Phoebe. <laughs> when did you realize that Spring Awakening was a hit? Mm. Uh, I've realized. Who asked this question? Yeah, who asked this? This is from Aaron. Thank you, Aaron, for your lovely question. I realized Spring Awakening was hit, as I think we all did, on opening night mm. when, well, the reviews came out, but I think when we came back the next day. Which it opening was night? On, on Broadway. On Broadway. Sorry. On Broadway. Well, I mean, we knew we were going to go to Broadway, which that was exciting, but I, th I didn't really sink in, I mean, for me, really, till the next day when I think when we showed up at the theater for our our second open mm -hmm. show, that it was like, this is real, this is very tangibly mm -hmm. a, 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 a hit, I guess, I don't know what a better word for that is, mm -hmm. <clears throat> that, yeah, it was exciting. It was that's, a, that's a good mm -hmm. answer. Yeah, that is a really yeah. good answer. Yeah. I didn't even really know that it became a real, like, like I remember like it all seeming like, because we were doing, we, they, we worked so yeah. hard. Yeah. We did so many press appearances, we did so many things like that, mm -hmm. that I think that was probably good. I don't. I feel like it was good because it didn't really give us a chance to think about what was happening. It just kept mm -hmm. us in a focused yeah. mindset forward. of just like yeah, working and keeping forward. going. Yeah. Right. But I, the one moment where I can specifically remember having like that feeling of like, what the hell did we do, is <laughs> what when we were <laughs> at Radio City for the Tonys, oh my and the five of us are standing That's there, scary. and Shooting that yourself. fucking yeah, thing went scary. up, and Lily went, <clears throat> holy shit, she's standing right next to. Me. And it was like five thousand people. Well, it starts. It starts on. raising up, and it's like it's going, it's going, Slow, it's going, and it keeps going. going. We'll go up and it and was up, that up, moment of like they've built a set hive. on this stage for this thing that we're a part of. Like, yeah. what did we do? It's like, cool. I think it's really surreal. Cool moment. I think every time the applause after Bitch of Living went on, ridiculous. Like, yeah, that was so <laughs> mind blowing. That was mm. awesome. Was Tom so Cruise cool. was a part of that. <laughs> yeah, it all comes back to Cruise. <laughs> yep. yeah. that Tom was did it all. Star. And Tom's every time we did it, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a it's long running joke now, isn't it? It is. You know <laughs> 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 that one died. You only have yourself to blame. Yeah. At least it's not being taped. Oh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, wait. The red oh. light's on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, the red light's uh, on. So, Jonathan, uh, when you were first cast in mm -hmm. Spring Awakening, how did you feel about the I Believe scene we had to do with Leia? I... that's a good question. I remember Michael Mayer was always very, like, whatever about that scene. He was never precious about any of the no. yeah. intimate moments. Mm -mm. And so, I honestly don't remember feeling anxious. The first thing I remember about that scene is he took, I do remember he took, we were at Baruch College, yeah. rehearsing for like a workshop, and he took me and Leah alone, and he was like, okay, so you're gonna grab her boob here, and finger her ear, and then you insert here, and it was very technical, yeah. And so it never felt, it truly never, I never felt weird about it. But I remember he, and he like respectfully had us do it, with just the two of us without the cast. And then I remember we, we rehearsed it, whatever, to the music, how it was gonna be, and then he brought us back in, and they were like, okay, the cast is gonna get around and we're just gonna like show them what it is. And everybody was around us with these little like wooden things Dallas. that we had as, as pretend mics. <laughs> and we started doing, do you guys remember this? We started doing the yeah. scene yep. and they were like, I believe, I believe, I believe. <laughs> and the whole song <laughs> fell apart as they saw us we doing it. We were all like, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Very intense. I believe that. The whole yeah. thing was completely like. I think like, it was also yeah. on top of the fact that you guys had never done it in front of us before and Michael kept being like, more boob. More, more boob. boob. And just like <laughs> screaming. Yeah. But I never, More felt, action to I never happen. felt anxious about it. I think because of him. And probably Leah yeah. too. And Leah, yeah. Because yeah, we were, everybody was very like upfront. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Nobody was self-conscious. Yeah, yeah, not precious about it. That was the best thing. You just okay. couldn't be precious about it. 
I remember like calling my parents and being like, yeah. this is what's happening in the show. Yeah. And my dad was like, but is it your shirt that opens? And I was like, no, 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 my shirt does not okay. open. He's like, okay, I don't care. I had the same conversation <laughs> okay, with great. my parents. <laughs> And boy, were they relieved. <laughs> That's what everyone. Remember when we practiced on my living room floor, yes. Phoebe? Because Phoebe, it was the understudy for Venla. Yes, and I, I thought if I went on, I didn't want to be just like doing it with yeah. you for the first time ever. Because mm. I, I don't think I even got it put in. I think I just went on. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But yeah, that was crazy. Right. We did it in my living room. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was a fireplace. <laughs> Oh, yeah. This question's from Lauren. Out. Yeah. From Teresa. Oh, um, Teresa. You came from the LA music scene, and so how did your experience as a singer songwriter translate to the stage? Hi, Teresa. Thank you for your question. Don't break the fourth wall, Lauren. Don't break the fourth wall. It's there. I mean, it's there. <sighs> um, I think that um, it was it was like a a relatively nicely easy transition to make mostly because it was you know sort of pop rock pop rock music that we were singing anyways for the show so um I think that being being a person who's always been singing that kind of music it was a very easy transition to make um the music is really soulful and beautiful it, it was always I, I think really easy for all of us to sing Duncan created an, an amazing score and songs I think that <clears throat> could easily resonate with people beyond the lyrics, just because musically mm -hmm. they were so beautiful. The melodies of what we were singing would stick with you like for days and days and days. That made that made singing the music every day so easy. <clears throat> and it, it never felt like a separate artistry. It was just It didn't, no. I mean we were very lucky to be a part of something where we really got to be who we were mm -hmm. in the process of also we got to like be other people, but it, it was interesting being a part of this thing where like they still wanted to keep the essence of who we were. They didn't want that to get lost in, in what we were doing, and I think that was something that that you know made made the show really special. Mm -hmm. That we all got to keep a little bit of who we were or who we are in our characters and and in what we were singing and what we were saying. We we got to make it mean something to us personally, you know, and, and be able to put that into the show and, and what we did on the stage. But that was awesome that they let us do that. It's interesting. Are, Are you working just... on music now? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you may have, uh, did you have like, something that looks like that? Plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it, plug it. Shameless plug, yes. shameless plug. Yes, I do make music now and you can Find it on iTunes. If you haven't already Lolo. heard her singles, you're dumb. Lolo. Yeah, seriously. So Lolo. Good. Check it out, YouTube. So Don't good. be dumb. Yeah. yeah. They're on iTunes yeah. and um, yeah. it's under Lolo in all capitals and um, yeah, it's really fun. Cool. It is really fun. That's I was just a shot in the dark question. I didn't I didn't know. Oh yeah. That's yeah, yeah. I do yeah. that. Yeah. Keep on Tom do that. <laughs> yeah, Tom. What's next? Like, jump off of actually something Lauren Good. was talking about. Um, the fact that like you guys got to keep so much of yourselves into these characters while you were establishing them. I wonder if you ever noticed um, when other people took on these roles and, and if you ever saw their productions, mm -hmm. if you saw pieces of yourself in their versions of the characters that you originated, or if you think they really br brought more of them to it. Well, it's funny because Michael, you know, Michael would encourage us to mm -hmm. kind of play w with it, mm -hmm. and then we might do something off the cuff that he fell in love with and then he ha would then have no choice but to make other people mm -hmm. like now you have to yeah. do this yeah. specific yeah. thing yeah. because it, it then became ingrained when, in the character yeah. itself in a way yeah. um and so it, it was funny like going back to see n new companies doing it you saw you saw it everywhere i saw all these little moments yeah. where i was like i remember the day in rehearsal where lauren found that or yeah. i remember yeah. when jonathan came up with that you know these little kind of awesome. moments mm -hmm. so it's kind of neat because uh rather than feeling like how dare they i i did that you know, <laughs> realize that it it, it it like it lives and breathes yeah. like this thing that we did it, it keeps on going and evolving not to say that People aren't able to bring their own spin to it because I've seen yeah. so many different mm -hmm. takes yeah, on sure. all of the all the roles. 
Um, but there's always kind of that weird kind of cool connectivity that kind of thrives throughout it. Yeah, I remember the one time, uh, I think it was Jesse Swenson who was understudy, he was a swing and understudy all of us. Um, and he came up to me after his first rehearsal as doing my role. Um, and he said, Brian, uh, I have a question for you from the bitch of living. Um, I'm trying to get this, um, this head swivel that you do uh, to the teacher. And I couldn't have been more unaware of what he was talking about. I, like, I didn't even realize I was doing it. It was more of just a, like, you know, get, get intense to the teacher. You know what I mean? The, the intense, yeah. like, little... I don't even know if swivel's the right thing, but... It was like, like that. Yeah, it was like a swoop, oh. swoopy swivel. Like, like a swoop, 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 swoop. Uh, technically uh, technically speaking, it here. was a swoopy swivel. <laughs> um, <laughs> like a but uh, yeah, that was the first moment I was like, oh, wow, well, all, all the stuff that we're doing and we had the freedom to kind of uh, create as the process went on, that now it's Set. more lo like they have to lock it in because that's the nature of the beast of... of keeping the show It's a narcissist. Going. It, was it was definitely <laughs> probably like, uh, like uh, the freaking dance captain job that I had to do was like an she accidental thing. I just happened to be like still in the room in rehearsals one day when they were like, we don't have a dance captain yet. And I just was still in there and they were like, do you want to do it? And I was like, okay. And I had no idea what that entailed. <laughs> and Bill T. Jones was a very hard person to be a dance captain for because no. There, <laughs> because there were a lot of changes, but it was also the fact that that we all got to sort of have these things about us be captured in our characters, like like John was saying. So when you're then having to like teach somebody how to do that, and it is something that someone else is doing 100% natural because that's just what they do, mm -hmm. yeah. and someone else really cannot do that because it's so unnatural to them. It's not because they're not coordinated, it's yeah. not because of anything like that, it's just like, it's just not in their body. Like not that. in their body at all, and you're you're having to be like, I know this is annoying and it is the tiniest detail, but if you don't do it, I'm gonna have to write you a note to remind you to do it every time because it is important. Mm -hmm. It all factors in, it all sort of builds into the bigger picture. But It's interesting too, because I've, I've gone to go see like, can, like a college in Kentucky do Spring Awakening, mm -hmm. and my community theater in Ephrata did Spring Awakening. Wow. Yeah. I saw it in Maryland last year around this time. Did you? Mm -hmm. And it's cool like see to it. see it on a different set mm -hmm. <clears throat> that's totally different from anything like ours with kids that are actually 18, 19, 20, mm -hmm. 21. The show really stands on its own. Mm -hmm. And to yeah. see it without any mm -hmm. of the like memories because when I like to see the Broadway show or yeah. see the tour you st or when I saw it in London like you were there for that did mm. you still feel like oh I remember that and I remember that but then when to see it like in a college where they don't have the same lights it's mm -hmm. cool to see the show mm -hmm. totally stand on its <clears throat> own and the fact that like these roles are for people that are the ages that we were when we did them mm. it's like innately always incredible because mm -hmm. it's like young people giving expressing so themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. They're always giving so much. That I think that was definitely a really weird thing. I went to see, the, there was like a Playhouse production uh, somewhere in Maryland um, this time last year and it was so weird seeing the show like without our staging, our choreography. That was like the weirdest, mm -hmm. like watching these songs happen, especially songs like The Bitch of Living and Totally Fucked where like the choreography is so specific that we did and it's not there, but it's something still similar mm -hmm. and how, you know, it still totally like brings it to life. But it's crazy how you're like, no, but wait, someone's meant to be jumping up there. <laughs> and then it's someone else's turn. You know, yeah. it's like funny what you remember. Even yeah, though you haven't yeah. seen it in a long time. <clears throat> so what are you guys going to miss most about performing at the Atlantic? Or what have well, it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> what do you do you miss most? I love the dressing room. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. I so too. Yeah. It's just a, I mean, there's a curtain separating the, you know, <laughs> however you gender no yourself. Rooms. It's all one big However you choose to gender yeah. yourself appropriately or whatever. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> appropriately. <laughs> or whatever. It's key. Or whatever. You'll be rude about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying to be fair. No, I know. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. We were always all together. Yeah. I felt I felt bad in a way for Mary McCann and 
and Frank with me because we were just like yelling and screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you were eleven, just we children, were just, you know, yeah. just playing loud music yeah. and just like oh running around and yelling at each other and throwing things over the. Floor. Oh my god, throwing they things over the it. curtain. That blow mattress is a bad it. idea. That blow mattress. Oh, yeah. Got us into a lot of I like the the alleyway though. The side. Oh the, yeah. yeah. I think that side was was actually the neatest. Oh, because so cool. We could have like play wall ball. We play wall ball. We we could have a ball. Playing wall ball with Frank Wood. That was great. Oh my god. That was great. I mean, he was fine. We would eat outside. Do you think yeah, we would eat outside. I like the snacks and the barbecue. Yeah. The barbecue. Frank, are you the watching right now? <laughs> Frank, 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 would you bike? There? Frank would bike too. Text me if you're watching. Frank would bike Send him a flare. <laughs> Frank, we love you. Wouldn't Frank bike too? Yeah, he, yes, would. he would. He would. He still does. I saw him. In Clybourne Park a little while back. Oh, I saw him too, and he was great. He was so I was I used to be really ambitious, and I would sometimes get a cupcake at Billy's Bakery, mm -hmm. and then it was really hot. <laughs> and then I would have one. I would have so one like hot. before the second show or whatever of the day, and I would be sitting on stage like. <laughs> that was like sugar coma. Yeah. Yeah, really yeah. I think what we wouldn't miss if we did another production is that there is a now like fully functioning AC system oh. Oh, yeah. in nice. the new and renovated space. The yeah, because uh, that summer, that summer was summer like was so brutal. Hot. Yeah, was, was, and when it, <laughs> especially. But at least we yeah. were wearing wool suits and stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Really like when it rained, yeah. it like also leaked a little bit. Yeah, yeah. 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 But that made but the roof. They just yeah. bailed yeah. out the roof. I liked it too. They bailed out the roof with the bits. Right. When the rain happened during the hayloft scene, that was cool. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there were a couple of times where there were some pretty cool thunderstorms. Yeah, thunder. At night during the the hayloft. But then, and then they, but the, and that's because of that they tried to put the sound cue of the thunderclap oh in. Oh my <laughs> yeah, god! Yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, Wait, that's right. Don't you remember? <laughs> yeah. I thought we did. No, but remember, I kept that. there's a record. Well, there's a recording of the first night we used it, and it's like it goes, whoosh, and you can hear one of us like laughing. <laughs> <laughs> very like, over professionally. The mic, like, yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's very so one rehearsal, or <laughs> and there was like. Abortion. She had an abortion. What was that? There was a scene because they kept trying to rewrite that scene. What? Right. Who the, was the, the letter? Oh yeah. Was be like a rushing river. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was Ilsa over there, and, this, and me and Remy <laughs> yeah. and Lily, and we're yeah. like, like what? Oh <laughs> <laughs> right, all right, all right. Where is where is she? <laughs> she had yeah, like, like, an abortion. <laughs> she had a what? <laughs> an abortion. <laughs> Oh, okay. Somehow that one didn't make it. <laughs> <laughs> make the cut. Uh, Theater's a, a process. <laughs> we'll see. Wasn't yeah. there also I remember that. The, the graveyard scene originally, you were supposed to leave, and then Elsa was supposed to come on. There's supposed to be like the sound of dogs or something. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What? That's right. Dogs there was like a dog sound. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the dogs were. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was supposed to come out. Yeah. Was like a running we all ran. Remember yeah. we all ran. Oh, well, crazy pattern. Well, we changed like it to the running. Noises off. Like, right. <laughs> One of my favorites was oh when gosh. a couple of times when there was a guy that, or there was a person that would be sitting on the chair that you were supposed to crawl. Oh, out that, of. Was oh yeah. he, that was that was amazing. Yeah, opera. If you didn't see it on Broadway, he crawled out of a chair, one of the onstage oh, chairs. That was awesome. Like the girl from the that ring. That was awesome. Like, yeah, you got was stuck awesome. in it. It was awesome, but um, like that. but yeah, they would tell they, so they, they left this one chair and they they would the ushers would be very very serious about being like don't don't put your purse, don't put anything, don't, don't, put anything. don't even yeah. lean on it. <laughs> yeah. And there was, I remember one night in particular, I think someone just decided to be like, <laughs> just, you, you had to be like, like and they were putting oh, so, so much, much weight so, on it. Oh and I went God. to do it yeah. and it wouldn't open. <laughs> and I did it again and I finally was like, God! <laughs> <laughs> I, remember, I, I was on the that. opposite. So we opposite like, side I of the stage. Yeah, yeah, was, no, I made it because I think Kim Grigsby, our musical director, was like, uh oh. <laughs> Got a bit. Having a little bit of trouble yeah, over yeah. there. Uh oh. Leaning on the chair. scare funny. people. But yeah. It, yeah. yeah, people get. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. oh I got. Was, Towards the yeah. towards halfway through the run, I found out the pr I, I found out the perfect way to like open it really quick yeah. and make sure that it would make that really loud Bam. noise. Yeah. 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 So that even was if so nobody cool. saw it, people like near it were like, yeah. <laughs> what what was that also, was so cool. What was also really funny about the chair is that it only fit your dimensions. Yeah. So I, I was your understudy, and I remember yeah. the first time we tried to rehearse that, I was like, ah, little, I'm having a little trouble getting through, I like, Get out maybe the chair. got a shoulder in my neck through. You're like, can I just sing like, it from here? Yeah, I'll just sing it through the chair. Uh, that could be kind of ghostly, right? <laughs> <laughs> but we ended up like, I had to climb uh, over the chair, over the chair. on top of it. We figured it out. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah improvise. Theater That's process. theater, baby. That's theater. Wasn't there... Wasn't there, weren't you supposed to appear once without your head on? 
There was in, oh. the, in the original <laughs> script. Yes. Yes, uh, he is. That's, yeah. Yes, I think. They quickly yeah. abandoned that. Yeah, that would have been... It's hard to do that. Take a look at the special effects budget. What is a musical? Yeah, a musical. Oh, my God. That's great. That's good. Anything else you have? Yeah. We have questions on questions. Oh, Are we wrapping yes. it up, though? All right. Oh. I think that's all we have time for tonight. What? Yes. That's it? Oh. One, 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 one more. 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 Okay, um, so this is for everyone. Like this is from Rosie. Oh. Rosie wants to know. <laughs> Not O'Donnell. Rosie. <laughs> no, just the Rosie. I wish. I think it probably is. Yeah. She wants to know who had the weirdest pre show ritual. Oh, this is a good one. Oh. Show, if you have a good one. Oh, yeah. to well, I remember, I remember for sure. Yeah. Esther Brooke would be like, She'd be like, oh, today, children, before she'd come on, she'd be like, I'm going to be an archer. I'm going to be an archer. And then we were all like, okay, she's an archer. She's an archer. What's that going to be? So she like came on stage and went, Venla. <laughs> <laughs> I remember always looking forward to her weird, yes. weird oh, thing so that she good. would do. Yes. She was a truck driver once. What did she do for truck driver? Was she like, uh, Venla. <laughs> Venla. <laughs> she could just get away with whatever she oh, wants. Yeah, oh, they don't even know how. I think a lot of us were, were gassy off Broadway. <laughs> 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 Remy. Off Broadway, yeah, we really voted <laughs> in. Yeah, yeah you saw, Everybody went to a nutritionist. Everyone went to a nutritionist off Broadway. Doc, I got Didn't some Didn't we problems. try? We like tried to do like a prayer circle. We did. We did. What? We did. We tried to like all like bring it know. in. I don't know about this. No, I don't. We did. We all tried to bring it in. Like, I remember that. that. No, it was like <laughs> Skyler, like some people. I don't know, we, well, before Maybe the show. Maybe that was stage right. Were you stage right? <laughs> yeah, no, it was always was. stage right, yeah. I don't remember oh. that. Oh. We were, we, stage right. we were stage right. We were stage left. Oh, yeah, no, we I was stage, stage left. Wait. Get in. Did you see some Broadway? You were stage right. Off Broadway. Frank Wood. Yeah. Yeah, and then stage left for Broadway. Oh, okay. I was always stage right. Oh, um, I don't remember. I was always stage right. No. I never well, had a good ritual. Yeah. <laughs> Leah, had a, Leah would always warm up. No. Oh, well, that's good. Well, that's <laughs> that was really fun. We all should have been doing that, bro. <laughs> I would say. Well, I remember it was like something about lambs or something. Oh, now I don't Generally, remember. I just had to braid my hair, which was always oh. something that I did not oh, man. forward to. When, when we got to Broadway, Gerard was my rock my with, my, hair. with getting my cap of curls yeah. all, all intact there. Because I could never see the back of my head. That freaking <laughs> microphone in the hair. Yeah. Not fun. I had to do my act one hair. Yeah. And I would just make it crazy. That was always yeah. fun. But I would too, see you yeah. in the hair. I love, I love yeah. the feeling when you when you get like your your microphone in perfectly, oh, and it's like no, like, you're like there's no nothing better. Today's gonna be a good day. Nothing better than that. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing better than that. <laughs> it's true. Be, when that lob sits just doing? right, <laughs> just right, <laughs> it's you got lovely. Your tights on up. You got your your microphone up, built on Felt right. It yeah. doesn't always happen, but every once in a blue moon. It's blissful. Oh, mm. and you've wrapped it around the right amount of time. So good. Yeah, yeah. 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 You got that yeah. tape in the right place in the back of your neck. Michael would come in and like tussle your hair. Boy, yeah. we yeah. shouldn't talk about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, cut, cut, cut. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have. <laughs> yeah. You're on TV. That's it. Thank you. Uh, you know, you guys for questions. Thank you, McCoy. Bye. And Bye. Mika and everyone here. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Check back with ATC Uncovered on AtlanticTheater.org and Atlantic Mwah. Theater Mwah. Acting Mwah. School. We did it live. And, uh, we did it all. We did it yeah. live. I'll be doing a live red carpet of the Night Alive, which is the show at the Atlantic on, on Thursday night at the Woo. after party. So check back with that. Yes. More, more. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> yeah, so check back there, guys. And um, thanks for stopping by. Bye. Bye. Bye.